Oh, where do we start with this juicy bit of royal rebellion and strategic avoidance? Picture this. Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, Beatrice's hubby and property tycoon, sachets into New York City for a bit of the old business and Instagram flaunting. His feed, a picturesque diary of the high life showcasing views that mere mortals can only dream of, including that breathtaking gaze over the Hudson from the Edge's observation deck. Yes, folks, real estate is indeed treating Edo well, and his travels aren't just for the gram, they're for globe-spanning meetings that make Monopoly look like child's play. Now let's turn the page to where things get spicy. In a plot twist that would make Shakespeare toss his quill in envy, Prince Harry, yes, our very own royal defector, decides to reach out, and not for a casual cuppa or a stroll down memory lane. No, he supposedly rings up Edo, right as he lands in the concrete jungle, on behalf of Megan. The mission? To coax Edo into swinging by their Montecito mansion for a little chat about PR experts in the UK. Because, as the world knows, Harry and Meghan are in desperate need of some brand CPR. But here's the kicker. Edo, in a move that screams, I'd rather watch paint dry, reportedly turns down the invitation. Can you blame him? The thought of being the middleman for the Sussexes and their quest to polish their tarnished image? That's a hard pass. Edo's got better things to do, like enjoying elite horse races with royalty that doesn't spark controversy at every turn. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan are on the hunt for a miracle worker in PR to salvage the wreckage that is their public image. But let's face it, finding a PR guru willing to take on this Herculean task is like searching for a needle in a haystack. Why? Because their brand is about as appealing as a cold cup of tea. Their popularity back in the UK is dangling by a thread, with a recent poll showing Harry as barely a blip on the radar of royal favorites. And Meghan? Well, She's trailing even behind that. Carla Spate, PR and crisis guru, doesn't mince words. The PR world is essentially playing hot potato with the Sussex brand. And who can blame them? Their past attempts at self-promotion have been a masterclass in how not to do PR, with a touch too much American speak your truth, and not enough of the British stiff upper lip. The Sussexes, advisors, seemingly more interested in cashing checks than providing sound counsel, have let them veer off into the realm of TMI and tabloid fodder. And as for Megan's grand plan to launch her brand alongside a Netflix showcase, let's just say the jury is out. Lynn Carrot of Pressbox PR hints that Megan's venture need more than just a sprinkle of royal dust to succeed. It needs authenticity and consistency, two qualities that, let's be honest, haven't exactly been the Sussex's strong suit lately. So there you have it, folks. Another day, another drama in the saga of Harry and Meghan's quest for redemption. But as they say, all publicity is good publicity, right?